Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who inspire us. Jake Vanderbrook joins us now with the story of a Logan football player that we first introduced you to last year, but now Jake is here to give us an update. That's right, Robert. Over nine months ago, we did a feature on Jared Reynoso, a James Logan defensive end who was one of five people involved in a fatal car crash of Christmas night 2019. We caught up with Jared, and I'll tell you this, this determined young man is making a stride to pride. Foothill Road looks like a typical, quiet, tranquil, Pleasanton drive. But for the Reynoso family, it's more than just a road. My husband and some of my family members have gone, and they say it's a pretty windy road. They don't even want to go back there. Jared Reynoso is one of two survivors from this fatal crash on Foothill Road on Christmas night 2019. Jared's cousins Mark and Michael Urista and his friend Javier Ramirez didn't make it. It's really hard at this time to enjoy everything and know that they're not here with us. Jared's mom, Angelica Reynoso, is struggling through a tough year, haunted by memories of the terrible accident. It would have been their senior year. They'd be doing a lot of the senior stuff along with Jared, so it's really hard. Even though Jared survived from the crash, the James Logan football player suffered multiple injuries, including a traumatic brain injury called DAI an injury where the axons of the brain shifts inside the skull, preventing Jared from talking, eating, and walking. Instant sadness. Instant sadness before we felt like we lost one of our brothers. As part of his recovery, Jared goes to therapy at Children's Hospital Oakland, where this determined young man strives to get his strides back. He was in the hospital for about a month in September. He worked out really well um, with the therapist, and he advanced in his walking. Capital I was working out on the turf. Even though the senior didn't play a snap all season, Jared works out every day, pushing the return to the game he loves most. He's still not giving up on being a football player. He's reached out to coaches like privately and let them know he's working hard and he's dedicated to get better and be on that field. He's greatness. He's a fighter. You know, he's a risk taker. He's going to do what he got to do, you know, and be successful. Jared still uses his walker to go from place to place, but number 54 can now lift his walker while he's moving around. And the show it off in front of hundreds of fans made senior night extra special. I told him, Jared, relax, put it down, and he just didn't want to. He just kept on going, and I was so proud of him. The Colts soundly defeated the Bishop O'Dowd Dragons, but Jared's proven toughness before the game was an even bigger win for this program. Jared is our greatness. He's our MVP. You know, when I saw him walking, it brought tears in my eyes. I'm so proud for him. If there's one message Jared Reynoso's story has taught us, it's to never give up. Even when people count you out, don't count yourself out. Be your biggest supporter. Believe in yourself. Believe in your child, like, that they could do what they think they could do. Like, don't let them think they can't do it. Everyone has the fire, but the champions know when to ignite the spark. And Jared Reynoso is a true champion. When I caught up with Jared at one of his practices, it's clear and obvious this James Logan football program shows a lot of support to not only Jared, but to the Reynoso family as well. Awesome. Yeah, and to watch him at, at senior night, and he was so stubborn because he wanted to walk, but his mom made him <laughs> have the walker and hold it, but he held it up and just walked. Mm -hmm. and Fantastic stuff. Yeah, the crowd went, went crazy. <laughs> That's right.